Continue working on your file from the last movie. You can also use the file named carrigbodyroll.max you downloaded for this tutorial. By now, the car is traveling on a path. The wheels are spinning by the right amount. And are turning in reaction to the rotation of the steering wheel. The next step is to induce a bit of body roll each time the car is in a turn. The easiest way is to rotate the car body locally whenever the steering wheel is turning. Lucky enough, you've already animated the steering wheel, so all that's left is to establish a direct relationship between that and the body roll. Go to frame 52 where you earlier set up a keyframe for the steering wheel. Frame 52 is where the body roll should be at its maximum and therefore be easier to judge. The car should roll on its local x-axis by an amount you have yet to determine. Select the steering wheel. You can use the scene explorer to that effect. Right click and choose wire parameters. Select transform rotation zero Euler XYZ Z rotation as you did before. With the rubber band that appears, you need to select the car's body. Again, to avoid picking the wrong object, you may want to select the body of the car using the H key or the Scene Explorer. Choose Transform Rotation Zero Euler XYZ X Rotation. The wiring dialog appears. Set the direction to use the steering wheel as a control object. Click Connect to evaluate the formula. The results are staggering with a ratio of 1 to 1. The body of the car is rotating by the same amount as the steering wheel. Obviously, this needs to be toned down. Divide the formula by 10 and update it. Well, it's better in that the car is not making tunnel rolls anymore, but the body roll is still far too pronounced. Try a denominator of 50 or 60 and update again. Basically, the higher the divider value, the less of a roll you get. A modern car, or sports car, has very little roll, so you'd beef up the divider value. For an old 60s car, the suspension would have been quite soft, and you'd get a significant amount of body roll. I'll set my denominator to 60 in this example, but you can experiment with other values. Zoom out and adjust your view to test the car roll in the viewport. The animation is now working a lot better. This covers what we set out to do in this tutorial, but for a final added touch, consider the following. There are two cameras linked to travel with the car. They are hidden from view at the category level, but you can revert that in the display panel. One camera is set above the car, while the other is in the driver's seat. Check out their point of views. and settle on the driver camera shot. Scrub the animation. It's fine and it follows the movement of the car. However, as a responsible driver, you should be looking in the direction of travel and not always at the front of the car hood. So, as the car starts turning left for the first curve at around frames 30 or 35, you should be looking further left rather than directly in front of you. As far as local rotation goes, the driver's seat camera should be pivoting on its local Y-axis, anticipating left and right turns. By now, you have probably guessed that this is the same process you have done before, which is establishing a relationship between the steering wheel local Z rotation and in this case the camera's local Y rotation.
Go ahead and do that the way you have learned. As before, you will discover you need to tone down the formula by dividing it by a value that feels right. Feel free to experiment, keeping in mind that a value between 10 and 20 should work nicely. Note that you also need to add a minus sign to the formula for the camera to pivot the right way. Test it out by looking through the camera lens and adjust and update the formula as you feel is necessary. When you're done, exit the wiring dialog and test your animation from various angles. You may also want to unhide the walls at this point. There's also a finished scene file, as well as final animation that you can check out among the downloadable assets. In this tutorial, you learned how to create a simple car rig that adds value to a car traveling on a path. You learned to spin the wheels by the proper amount in relation to path travel percent. You also learned to establish relationships between the steering wheel and other components. This helped make the front wheels turn and the car body roll as the steering wheel was rotated and keyframed. We hope you have enjoyed what was covered and hope to come back to you very soon. This is Amir Yassin from Autodesk, bidding you a good day.